Hey out there, this is Wake Angel 2001 um, coming at you with a very simple little video this time. I've been wanting to do a little bit of a thing where I can make more crafts that are, you know, child friendly that little kids who are watching my channel would be able to in, would be able to do without having to worry about getting paint everywhere or handling potentially dangerous sharp objects. Um, so I thought a nice simple little bit of origami would help. Um, <clears throat> now uh, we all know the new Star Wars movie is coming out pretty soon, so why don't we learn how to make an origami X-Wing? Um, now full disclosure, I didn't invent this origami X-Wing. It actually comes from this really old book I have. It's called Space Busters. I got it from, um, you know how, I don't know, if, do schools still do the thing where like um, they hand out a, a paper catalog thing where you can order books from Scholastic? That's where I got this from. When I was in elementary school, I was totally into origami. And uh, that's where I learned how to do this X-Wing. Uh, the title is Space Busters, and it's done by a guy named Campbell Morris. So I have no idea if this book is still in print, but if you want, you can, uh, you know, that's how you search. Space Busters by Campbell Morris. All right, so let's actually do the thing. Okay, so to make the next wing, you just need a very ordinary piece of typing paper. You can probably pull one of these out of your printer at home. And just like with any other paper plane, the first thing you're going to do is fold it in half the long way, just like this. And then, of course, unfold it because you need to do stuff. Then you're going to flip it over so that the crease is this way, and you're going to fold it in half the short way. Got to make sure your corners line up because uh, symmetry is pretty important when you're making this one. So once you have that, you flip it back over again so that, the, so that the short way crease is going this way now. And you make each corner meet like this. Just fold it corner to corner. Oop, it came a little bit undone when I flattened it. Yep. This is why you want to double check your work and make sure your creases go the right way. There we go. Then you do it one more time. I believe in origami this is often called the water bomb base or the square base, except we're doing it with a rectangle of paper instead of with a, tr a square of paper. Yeah, rect So yeah, this is actually rectangular origami. Rectangular origami is not that common if you think about it. Okay, now we have all the guidelines. So we simply collapse it into this triangle shape. And this is going to be the basis of your X-Wing. Now this part is the one that's actually somewhat technical. Um, so if you, if you feel under the paper, you're going to have the, the part that you folded is going to make it thicker. And you can feel it. What I like to do is I like to run my fingernail right along there to create a line that I can see. I do it on both sides so I can see that line. So what you're going to do with that line you just made is you're going to fold the edge of the paper over to meet that line. Just like this. See that? Then you're going to do the same thing to the other side, folding it over to meet that line. Um, right now we're forming the wings and fuselage of, of the X-Wing. So this is how you can get those proportions right. Then you flip it over and you just fold the other two sides to match. After all, an X-Wing has four wings, so we got to create four wings. And there it goes. Sadie. We're not doing that right now. Hey. We're pet sitting, so... Sorry about that. Sadie's a suburb dog, so she's not used to hearing people outside in the hallway. Okay, so now we gotta fold out the wing flaps. And this is... I never really had a truly effective way to do this. You just kinda have to eyeball it and correct yourself a few times. You basically want it so that the wing 
is parallel to to the triangular bottom so it's gonna take a little bit of trial and error to get that to be exactly the right shape and it's usually best when you do both because then you can refine the crease just a little bit it's a little bit awkward but you can manage it you you're, you more or less got it right when the center line meets up with the um, you know the top of that triangle so yeah um, making sure that you get your wing straight is probably the hardest part of the of the X-wing but you know that's that's a simple little job you can do all right so now we have all four of the wings folded out and then uh, this is just to give it that nice X pattern you fold down the wings like this but then you unfold them that trust me this this helps later on so flap one flap two flap three and flap all right now let's fold up the cockpit you're just gonna take these little triangles here and from the tip make them match all the way down that center line then you're gonna repeat and this forms the cockpit of your X-wing zoop, zoop. then you're gonna flip the plane over and you're going to start doing the same thing on the opposite side like this then you're going to take the flap and you're going to pull it out so that it meets the corner and then it's going to go all the way up into the corner here it's going to make your lower wing slightly smaller, but it'll also make it sturdier to help preserve the shape of the wing in flight. This is an important part. It's what, it, it's what holds the whole plane together in, in its finished form. Then you're going to do that to the other side. Just like this. I screwed up a little bit. I missed the corner. Yep. There we go. All right. And actually, let me just quickly recrease to make sure that the wings will fold the right way. Okay. Now we take the whole thing and we fold it in half, just like that. Now all we need to do is put R two D two in the back. You do that by folding this up this wise. Here we go. Then you open it up and push that fold in, turning it inside out. And that's going to be R2-D2's little head sticking out the back. And the only thing left to do now is to fold the wings down. Just like so. Just like so. Yep, now all you gotta do is press it up into a paper plane shape. And there you go, an origami X-Wing. With the cockpit in the front, R2-D2 in the back, and that very distinct X shape to the wings. Here are the folding instructions as they appear in the book, just in case you need the actual diagrams to help you out. So, yeah, just go, just pause here and uh, look over the screen so that you can get the thing. Okay, back to live action video. Okay, so the final part of this is just demonstrating how the X-Wing can fly. It flies very much like any conventional paper plane. You just hold it right there at the corner and the bottom, and you give it a nice gentle push into the air and you are on your way to blowing up the Death Star. 
Hey, Sadie. How you doing? You had to interrupt my video by barking at the hallway. Huh? Yeah. You're looking a little bit shaggy because it's raining today. And you went out to walk in the rain. <laughs> yeah, look at you. Yeah, you know you're so moist. You're so cute. We all love you.